Marfan syndrome is a disorder of the connective tissue. It is named after Antoine Marfan, the French pediatrician who first described the condition in 1896 after noticing striking features in a five-year-old girl. Structures all across the body, including bones, ligaments, muscles, blood vessel walls, and heart valves, are made of connective tissue, which gives them strength and flexibility. The majority of the body's organs and tissues are impacted by Marfan syndrome, particularly the skeleton, lungs, eyes, heart, and the major blood vessel that transports blood from the heart to the rest of the body that is aorta. Because connective tissue is found throughout the body, Marfan syndrome can affect many organ systems in the body. Let's start with the skeletal system. The skeletal system is linked to the majority of the immediately noticeable symptoms. In addition to having excessively long, slender arms with thin, weak wrists and long fingers and toes, many people with Marfan syndrome develop to heights above average. One of the clinical examination tests for Marfan illness in the hands is the Steinberg sign, or thumb sign. It is a clinical test in which, with the thumb clutched in the clenched hand, the tip of the thumb extends past the palm. Also, there could be scoliosis. That is either spinal or thoracic and abnormal sternal indentations or protrusions that is pectus excavatum or pectus carinatum. Number 2. Eyes. In Marfan syndrome, the health of the eye can be affected in many ways, but the principal change is partial lens dislocation, where the lens is shifted out of its normal position. Those with MFS are also at a high risk for early glaucoma and early cataracts. Number 3. Cardiovascular system. The most severe Marfan syndrome symptoms are heart-related, including excessive exhaustion, shortness of breath, palpitations, racing heartbeats, and chest pain that radiates to the back, shoulder, or arm. MFS may also be associated with cold hands, feet, and arms due to poor circulation. One of the major signs that would lead a doctor to consider an underlying condition is a dilated aorta or an aortic aneurysm. Next lungs. Individuals with Marfan syndrome may be affected by various lung-related problems. Spontaneous pneumothorax is common and can cause pain, shortness of breath, cyanosis, and, if not treated, death. Other possible pulmonary manifestations of MFS include sleep apnea and idiopathic obstructive lung disease. Next, nervous system. Loss of quality of life may occur as a result of dural ectasia which is the weakening of the connective tissue in the dural sac that surrounds the spinal cord. Lower back discomfort, leg pain, stomach pain, other neurological symptoms in the lower extremities, or headaches are possible signs. These symptoms typically go away while lying down. Other spinal issues associated with MFS include degenerative disc disease, spinal cysts, and dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system. Next let's have a look at pathophysiology of Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome is a genetic disorder and passed from generation to generation. Mutations in the FBN1 gene on chromosome 15, which encodes fibrillin 1, a glycoprotein component of the extracellular matrix, are the cause of Marfan syndrome. Here is a quick look at management of patients with Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome has no known cure, but life expectancy has greatly increased in recent decades and is currently comparable to that of the ordinary individual. Routine examinations are advised to keep track of the condition of the heart valves and aorta. Treatment for Marfan syndrome involves dealing with each problem as it occurs and, in particular, using preventive medication, even in young children, to delay the course of aortic dilatation. Through the elimination of heart arrhythmias, reduction of heart rate, and lowering of blood pressure, this therapeutic technique seeks to delay the advancement of aortic dilatation and prevent any harm to heart valves. Management often includes the use of beta blockers such as propranolol or, if not tolerated, calcium channel blockers or ACE inhibitors. Beta blockers are used to reduce the stress exerted on the aorta and to decrease aortic dilation. The prognosis of people with Marfan syndrome was not good before contemporary cardiovascular surgery methods and drugs like losartan and metaprolol, as a variety of untreatable cardiovascular problems were widespread. Life expectancy was decreased by at least a third, and many people passed away in their teens and twenties as a result of cardiovascular issues. Since more patients are living longer, more manifestations of the disease are being identified. 
Cardiovascular symptoms of Marfan syndrome are still the most significant problems in diagnosis and management of the condition, but adequate prophylactic monitoring and prophylactic therapy offers something resembling a normal lifespan.